Hi everyone, got a review for you today on a RFID protected wallet. It's a leather wallet that I got off Amazon, which was about $14.99. I'll put a link to this below. And I'll have to replacement to the current wallet I've got, which is a standard leather wallet. Unfortunately, it's falling to pieces and it's ripped and yeah, I needed something to replace that. There we go, it's falling out of it already. That's one of the problems why I need a new wallet. So um, so I found this on Amazon, it's seen reasonable price compared to everything else and it's uh, supposed to be leather as well. Uh, it looks like it's kind of made in China from the looks of things. There's not a lot on the box, something in Italian, I think, maybe. Italian, Spanish, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just gonna open this up and see what the wallet is like and what we get. So, let's take off the wrapping. So, solid box and, does that say Zupa? Maybe. Nothing on the inside. A little card. So I think if you want to gift wrap this, you can put two something on it, maybe. Uh, okay, it's cool. It's got a little, um, a nice little um, suede, well, I don't think it is real suede, but some sort of protective cover. I um, don't know why you'd want a protective cover for a wallet, but anyway. Uh, let's get rid of that. A bit of paper covering it up. It's very well nicely packaged for such a cheap wallet. Cool, and then we've got the actual wallet itself. So um, I'm just gonna smell this. It doesn't really smell very leathery, leathery to me, but that could just be the fact that it's been in that box for a while. And uh, it's got some nice orange stitching around the top, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what that is, a bit of leather or something. Oh, maybe that is to show that it's leather, maybe. Uh, yeah. Um, some paper cool okay so we have got two card sections which is quite nice one for an id a bit of cardboard in there which is good for my driving license and then one for your credit cards and does this come out now it's stitched in and then cards at the front as well and yeah, it's softly lined a uh, little bit of a inside section in here and something that I do want, I don't, I try not to carry change around with me too often, but it's always useful to have a little bit of a, a section to put some loose change in. Um, so yeah, little zip area for a small amount of change you can go in there. And then you've got the main section uh, for your notes, which is, again, got this lining inside it, shiny lining. Um, yeah, pretty nice. So. This is supposed to have RFID protection on it, um, which is why I bought it. So the idea being that if you're out and about and someone, you know, you've got these contactless cards, this is supposed to protect against that sort of thing happening and people stealing your, your details. So, um, oh, there's something else in here. What's that? Ah, okay, cool. It's got an additional card holdery thing. Maybe, I don't know what that's for. Let's just keep in there, I guess, yeah. Okay, so it's got an additional card holder section that goes in the front, which is quite cool, quite a nice thing. Um, I might actually just take that out so it's a little bit thinner rather than being so thick, but um, it's got a little metal stud there. Very, very thin profile, so compared to the one that I've currently got, pretty similar. Um, I did like the fact that this has a zip around it, but I never actually used the zip, to be fair, so actually I'm not bothered that this one hasn't got a zip, but yeah. Seems pretty good. Um, so if you're after a cheapest wallet, and uh, uh, this one seems fairly decent, um, I can't tell if it's real leather or not. It it's supposed to be real leather, but you know, for fifteen pounds, um, yeah, it's pretty good if it is. But yeah, let me know if you've got any questions, guys. Otherwise, I shall catch you soon.